This video is about how to manage this page here. How to make changes to the demographics form. The demographics form is kind of a unique form within the system because it has two parts to it. It's part layout based and it's partly hard coded. So let's get into this just a little bit so you can see how to make some of these changes to the layout based form. Now, I've got it pulled up here, the patient search, so we're going to use that as our point of reference. I'm going to go to the forms and layouts. Under layouts, we're going to go from here to demographics. All right, so if this is your first time seeing the demographics layout based part of the form, this is a part that you can change. Now, I'm going to strongly, strongly tell you, do not delete anything in here, okay? Even though the system will allow you to delete these blocks, do not do that. It will royally screw up the system and you will end up having to put it back for it to work correctly. If you want to remove a block from the system, you want to mark it inactive. So in order to mark something inactive, you have this column here. It's the third column that says UOR. Under UOR, UOR you can see where you have blocks or option of optional, unused, or required. So if you don't want, and we're going to take this one away right here because we have these user defined blocks that are just sitting there on the screen. And as you can see, there are those right here. Okay. So we're going to take these away and remove them from the screen. So if I go back here to the user defined blocks, where did they go? Here we go. So it says user defined. So what I'm going to do here is just go unused, unused. Now, I can rename these anything I want. So if I need them for something else, I can always bring them back, okay? So that's the other reason you don't want to delete things because you want to sometimes make things inactive or you can bring them back and give them a new name. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just say unused. And now when I do that and go ahead and save my changes. All right. And now that I've saved my changes, I'm going to reload this form and voila, they're gone. Okay. But let's say I wanted to bring one back because there's something I want to do with it. So I can go here and I can, oops, wrong one. Here it is. User defined. And I can make it optional again. And then I can give it a new name. And it's a text box. Also, of course, these are types of um, data types that you can set for these fields. That's a whole nother video. And there is a really great tutorial on YouTube that uh, uh -oh, Sandra, Sandra goes through a immense training. Now it's about an hour and a half long. So get a cup of coffee, uh, a soda or something. So you can sit down, get a snack and then watch the video. And she goes through all the details of how to use all of these features and how to make the layout based form look the way that you want it to look, or at least close to it anyway. And you can find out what all these data types do and how to use them in your system. But right now we're just going to stick with the text box that's here. And well, let's say I'm going to change it to a text area. So I'm going to change it to a text area and my next two columns is going to tell me the size of the text area. Now the max size here, this column here tells me the how much I can type in that box. Okay. So because right now I have it set to 15 width and 63 characters. If I want to have unlimited number of characters to type in that box, I'm going to put a zero here and then I'm going to make the box just a little bit wider than 15 characters. Let's make it 45 characters wide. Now, let me go ahead and save that and wait for my screen to reload. There we go. Now I'm going to go back here and right here under license, you should see that reappear. Let me go ahead. Now I have a my new field and now it's a text box, text area that's 45 characters wide. I can make it 90 characters wide. It'll just make it go further across the screen if I made it wired. So this is how you can change the layout base for. Now, if you want to get rid of an entire section, because like sometimes people don't use a section and let's say the, I'm going to use one that's really short. Okay. Like the miscellaneous section. Okay. That's not being used. If you want to get rid of that section altogether, let's scroll down to where we see 
and I'm looking at these right here on the left. I'm going to go down to miscellaneous. Okay, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff under miscellaneous, and it's all marked unused. Okay, and if I wanted to get rid of miscellaneous altogether, all I would have to do is mark the last two columns unused and save that. Now, when I go back to my form and I reload, miscellaneous disappears. It's gone. So that's how you can remove categories. And you can also add categories the same by doing the same way for the LPS. So you can customize this layout as much as you want to suit the needs of your practice. Thanks for watching.